Good evening, Blake. I appreciate you agreeing to speak with me today. I understand that you have been through quite the ordeal. Why don't we start with you telling me about Temple Gate? It's... it's a place of nightmares. A cult led by Sullivan Noth, convinced that the end times are near. They were brutal. Fanatic. The fucking... things they did. Stay back! Oh, no. I swear to fucking Christ, the first person who touches me loses their eyes! God, God, no! God, no! God wants the child. God wants the child. Get off me! Get off me! God wants the child. Lynn! No, you... No! You, you motherfuckers! Get, no. get off me! You leave her alone! Leave her alone! Lynn! Lynn! Yes, the things they did. Tell me, Blake, do you believe North's prophecy had any merit? Or was it all simply the ravings of a madman? It was madness. All of it. They believed my wife, Lynn, was carrying the Antichrist. They tortured us, hunted us. But it was their minds, their beliefs that were truly monstrous. And how did you cope with this persecution? This relentless belief that turned your every moment into a struggle for survival. Did you ever find any moments of clarity or lucidity amidst the chaos? There were hardly any moments of peace. Every shadow hid a threat. I kept going because of Lynn. I had to save her. I had to. Ah, the strength we draw from love. Powerful, yet what? such a vulnerability. Uh, Tell me, Blake, what? did you ever doubt your own sanity during your time there? Did the line between reality and illusion ever blur for you? Constantly. No the hallucinations, no. the memories of Jessica. No! no. They all came oh. rushing back. For fuck's sake. Sometimes I couldn't tell what was real and what was not. The school. The killings. Yeah. It was like my mind was tearing itself apart. I want to share my love. 